Hi, my name is Kyle Fickner. I'm a young adult librarian from the East Hampton Library. I'm going to take you on a virtual tour today. So there are a few new rules that we have at the library. In light of COVID-19, we ask that all patrons using the library wear masks, social distance, and return all library materials in the drop boxes located in the front and the back of the library. These rules are implemented to keep our community safe as we navigate through this together. Anyway, let's explore the library. This is circulation. Here in this section, this is where you can get a library card, pick up an item on hold, and even renew a card. Follow me to the DVD room. Here, you can find the latest DVDs, Blu-rays, and CDs. You can check out these items at the circulation desk. Now we're going to explore the young teen space. Here is the young teen room. This space is dedicated to grades six through eight. Here, young teens can print for free, access computers, explore young teen materials such as books, graphic novels, manga, nonfiction books, and Spanish books. We also have desks for students for studying and doing their homework. Here is the children's room. That's the children's reference desk, where you can find out more information about library materials, programs, and anything else you'd like to ask the librarians. In this room, you'll find all the children materials, including children's fiction, nonfiction, easy readers, picture books. Also, the library provides desks, chairs, tables, and computer access for the kids as well. As you can see, the space is pretty big. We also have a toddler room. Follow me now, we're gonna go to the Baldwin room. The Baldwin Room is one of our biggest meeting rooms in the library. We hold meetings and we also hold big library programs. Right now, this room is set up for students within the community to have a designated space to do their homework and study. Now, we're gonna go through the cloister hallway. This will lead us back towards circulation, but also to a new area known as the reading room. Located in the cloister hallway is a large print collection. And to the right, there's a garden. Here is the reading room. This room holds all new adult fiction and nonfiction books as well. We also have books on CDs. Here's a Long Island collection. Here you can talk to a library about all your local history needs. 
Unfortunately, there is no film or photography allowed in this room, so you're just going to have to stop by when you can. So now I'm going to take you guys to the outside courtyard. If you need a breather from being inside and would like to get some fresh air, the outside courtyard is the perfect place to be. This is the adult reference room. This is dedicated to the adults within our community. We have charging cables for the adults. Desks. Computers and printing as well. Now we're going to go to the adult reference fiction section. Here you'll find all adult books. Throughout fiction, we also have study tables as well. Now, I'm going to bring you to the horticulture room. This room is filled with books about plants for anyone interested. This room is another quiet area where people get to study or read. Now I'm going to bring you down to the lower section of the library. Here, you'll find a study table. This also is another quiet area in which you could study and do your homework. Now I'm going to take you to the nonfiction area. This is where all the adult nonfiction books are held. This is the computer lab. This is filled with computers, a scanner, a catalog to search and find books. We also have young adult nonfiction, biography, and graphic novels, and college prep books in this room as well. Here we go into the young adult room. This is the young adult room. This room is dedicated for students in grades 9 through 12. Here we have tables, computer and printing access, and much more. In this room, you'll find young adult fiction and young adult new fiction as well. Thank you all so much for watching this virtual tour and please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions. I hope to see you guys around the library. Bye.